Hi everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5. Here we are, back with U77, doing our best in uh, Monsoon Group A. And uh, we're blatting ahead, as you can see, we're just slowing down actually. Over there, smoke on the horizon. We have a... Soul cargo ship, on her own. That's what Soul means. Um, yeah, <laughs> she's on her own, so we're setting up a quick ambush. Here she is, she's coming up here, we've been plotting. She's gone slightly off um, where I thought she was going to be, but... Um, yeah, plotting her course, getting ourselves a rough intercept. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm just going to grab this, actually. Um, let's just adjust this slightly. Do, do, do. So we actually, um, oh, it's not going to, it's going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? Fine. So it's going about there. Is that right? Spot on. Right. Good. Uh, and then we can get that adjusted accordingly. Pop that there. Uh, we're coming in here. Uh, and pretty much as we uh, make that turn, we're going to dive down to periscope depth. And then as we're down at periscope depth, cut the engines and we should probably drift in here. Uh, we're doing 10 knots, which is quite a lot actually. I'm going to slow down a bit. And we're going to drift in here, so we've still got about five, 600 meters to target. Uh, got a radio message in. Um, convoy TJ3 most likely to depart Trinidad, Port of Spain for Rio on the 16th of August well that's not really Empire Bronze, 8,000 tons part that's, oh wait, that's not really any help um, we have this torpedo 90% unloading, this one 24% unloading uh, we got tubes 3 and 4 loaded with steam which should be good uh, what we really need to do is um, work out the speed of this ship so that's what we're going to work out right now. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Boop. Boop. Ah. We missed slightly. It's going to be slightly out, but it shouldn't be enough to affect our results to that degree. Right, so as, as always, we wait for a minute to tick by. Uh, we could do this through the periscope if we were in a better position, but I'm trying to get it done early. We can always confirm that with the periscope later. Obviously, you get the... You identify the ship, and from that detail, you get the length of the ship. Um, and from there, depending on the length of the ship, if it's 100 meters or less, you um, use the orange marker. If it's 150 meters to 200 meters, you use the red one. 200 meters to 250, you use the green one or the bluey green one, and then the green one for anything over that. And I needed to mark it. Right there. Not the best done. Not the best <laughs> bit of accurate measurement you'll ever see, but we'll get a we'll get a guesstimate, a rough idea. So that's 250 meters, 200. Oh, 150, 200. Okay. So speed conversion. 150. 154 would be five knots. Uh, probably five or six knots. You can always try to calculate that a little bit later in a second. Uh, but five knots is what we'll go with as our base. Cool, right. Um, let's get on the attack periscope then. Reaching course end. All oh, right, okay. Periscope depth. Right, getting on the periscope now. A little bit of time has passed, so she should be almost on top of us. I think that was her just there. The waves, there she is. There she is. Tracking new target. Right, identify said target. It is a Liberty Cargo. Ooh, Liberty Cargo. Let's chance a little bit more height. Um, let's have a look at the Liberty. And give us a bit of uh, info on her. Obviously, I know from the U boat, Liberty cargo tends to be quite heavy with bristling with armaments to protect herself. Do, do, do. 
once again, not in alphabetical order, which is a bit of a pain, but who knows, we'll just skip through there, and then I'll there, lose, lose, lose concentration, and we skip past. So, pop that there, there she is. Liberty cargo ship, so displacement of 7,000 tonnes, draft 8.2 metres, length is 140.9. Good, so we would use the yellow band, because she's uh, 100 to 150. Uh, Mars 26, so we can say additional information, oh, okay. Liberty ships were cargo built by the United States during World War II, though British in concept, they were uh, they were adapted by the US and were cheap and quick to build. They came to symbolise US wartime indus industrial output based on vessels ordered by the British to replace ships torpedoed by German U-boats. Oh, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk that, eh? Nice. Oh, wow, it's got a hole. Oh, Wow. Never bothered to read that before. That's pretty amazing, actually. Right, send all that detail to uh, the TDC. Fantastic. What's the max speed? Uh, 13 knots. Okay, crew of 40. Lovely. Good info. Good info. All right. So, um, we got the bearing. We can calculate the range. The range is going to be 700 meters. Is she still on the line? She's still on the line. Perfect. So she will be 700 meters when we are ready to go. She's grand. Speed, we believe, is about five knots. So we'll get that popped in. We can always do another quick cal speed calculation now. Angle of bow. Um, we can quickly calculate that. Or we can wait a little bit while. It'll be easier when she's closer. So if we uh, unlock that for a second and... set that going obviously we're waiting for the entire ship to cross through the crosshairs and that will give our calculated speed I think five knots seems about right Almost there. Right, there's six knots. Five knots. Not quite four knots, so yeah. Um, four and a half knots she's doing, so five knots will be grand. Excellent. Happy with that. Good, right. Reacquire re target. Happy that that's all working out quite well. Let's look that to us, and that is a measurement of 28 degrees. So angular bow is um, oh this side 28. Oh, I'll just I'll just type it in. It's just, it's just easier if I type it in. Good. Right, so we have steam torpedoes in three and four. Now, it's a bit of a choppy day, isn't it? So, with torpedo tube three, I'll go down low. Torpedo depth set to four meters. Um, I'll go medium speed. Do I want to try... Is it a bit too choppy for magnet magnetic hits? Because it might sell right under the, the ship. Because she is going, yeah. No, it's too too busy. So we're gonna we're gonna play it safe. We'll play it safe. We'll put it put it right on the or uh, well, the flat bit turns into the the bend of the keel. Um, medium speed. We'll flood that. Now tube four. We'll, we'll have that as fast. Um, ready to run along the surface to uh, try and hit home. So, right. I think we've set up nicely. It's just a matter of time. Waiting for her to. Uh, come a little bit closer and uh, then we can hopefully target her. Yeah, she's def she's got a front deck gun. She's got, you can see the anti-aircraft guns or the uh, uh, there. She's bristling with light machine guns and uh, anti-aircraft guns. Maybe a rear deck gun as well. She might have front and aft deck guns which will be um, a very powerful ship indeed. Yeah, absolutely bristling with guns. People walking around on deck. Right. 
Let's just do final calculations. We are almost good to fire. Angle about is 56. Change that to 56. Speed, 5 knots. Distance is okay. Right, almost there. Almost ready to fire. She's got no idea we're here. She seems quite high, actually. You can see the red mine, which denotes the, uh, the water line. I suppose it's just the water kicking her up, but... Um... Yes, yes. Oh, God, hang on. I've got to recalculate that. I, I'd left it up and I hadn't... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Taff, come on. Come on, 60 now. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm such a slacker. Such a slacker. I've got to confirm it. Right, there we go. That should be working out okay now. So, a couple more revelation, revolutions, and we should be good to fire. It's always that nervous time where you can keep recalculating and recalculating and recalculating, but really, got to trust what you do. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, this will be our last two forward-firing original torpedoes. Obviously, we've got that external reserve, which we're slowly bringing in, taking it a piece by piece and bringing it inside. But, um, yeah, we need to resupply after this. We've done really well. But, um, yeah, time for uh, a little bit of maybe rest and relaxation. A bit of R&R. &R. For the crew, uh, get a reboot, uh, reboot, a refit, and a uh, maybe a upgrade to our U-boat if we can afford one. Almost there, almost there. Let's bring up the little map so we know what we're doing. Well, that looks good to fire there. Tube three, I'm firing early. That should turn. Lovely. Yeah, that looks... Should, should be good. Should be good. I'm going to risk a little bit more height. Oh, this is about as much height as I can risk. Let's have a look. She's on target. Strike true. Good hit. Good hit. Does she need a second? Oh, look at that. Look at that hole. No, that should finish her. That should finish her. Yeah. Stand down, tube four. I can already see she's starting to uh, sit heavier at the rear. Even though we hit just behind mid midway. Yeah, the hole is now underwater. You can't see it. Brilliant. I think it's only a matter of time before she succumbs to her damage. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're, we're powering away from the kill zone, kill zone which was behind us, obviously, just in case they send any ships or aircraft to uh, investigate what happened to that ship. Um, meantime, we can have a look at what that was. It was, obviously, we know it was a Liberty cargo ship. 7,170 tons. She becomes our, unlucky for some, 13th ship sunk. 68,997 merchant tons sunk. Nice. It's all going rather well. All going rather well. Good. 
Sound Man has just done a normal sweep, but we're blatting away, so we probably won't be able to hear much anyway. But we're just going to come down here and get ready just in case an aircraft comes, we can quickly dive without having the captain on the bridge. All looking good. Everyone okay? How's your how's your how's your pet plant? Oh no, was your is your pet plant died, Wolfram? Or was it Benno? Did you have the pet plant? Oh, one of these used to have a little plant in her cup. Oh, it didn't make it. It didn't make it. That's a sad time, sad times. Right, we're just gonna sit on our bunk and um and wait it out. Uh, we're going to press on, going to get some rest, and uh, see if we can find any more contacts. We have one forward, fi forward firing torpedo. We've got an external reserve, which we're slowly dragging in, as I said earlier. Uh, we've got some aft tubes full of torpedoes, so we may well... These are the homing ones, aren't they? Acoustic homing torpedoes. Yes, indeed. So, um, that's almost... 23%. So next target, we need to fire a rearward shot, because if this is coming in, we need to make sp make space for it. So um, that's the plan of action anyway. So we're going to press on. Hi, everyone. Right, we've just um, dived down, and... Um, down down to 30 meters gone silent and Benno thinks he's found somebody bearing 112 going the long way around let me turn the volume up again for you guys I can't hear anything. Contact 77. Seven. Something there. I can hear that. Unmistakable chug. Of an engine. Right, bearing 70. Brilliant. Thanks, Benno. We know where we're going. Ah, there they are. Right. I'm heading that way. Good. Right, let's get back underway. Slow speed ahead. Um I'll turn the volume down again so I'm not gonna deafen myself. There we go. Right, we got we've been able to pick up some contacts. Two contacts by the looks of it, so they're going north, I think. So we're gonna head up here. Surface the boat. And um, we'll try and get ahead of them and see if we can set up. Try and get ahead of them because we need to fire the rear torpedo, really. Um, yeah, we, we we can't got two torpedoes to do. Um, we may only have to fire at one and see how that goes. But um, yeah, we need to get uh, an ambush set up anyway. So we're going to close in and see what we got. I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, it's miserable, gnarly, and uh, downright horrible outside. So we're going to dive down. Um, I've come to where we believe the contact was coming through here. So this is where we just sunk that other ship. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive down to about 30 meters again, go silent, and see if we can hear um, where those uh, two contacts have gone. Hopefully I got it right and we should be ahead of them. If that's the case, we can start plotting them and um, potentially getting ourselves into position for a uh, a good intercept. Right, that torpedo's got 22% to go, so I really want to get a rearward shot going. Okay, Chief, calling out the uh, the orders. We're still at the uh, surface at the moment. We've had a number of aircraft go past, but haven't really spotted us due to the, um, the fact the weather's so awful. I'm surprised they're up. This time of night in this weather. Bloody horrible. Nice. Hey, there we go. Picked him up. Really? They're up there? No. There's Unless they were doing 
flank speed ahead. We we were doing. No, I can't believe that's them two. Let's get down. No. Hold here. Is that really where they've got to? What speed were they doing? Turn the hydrophone off. Oh, uh, keep up the good work. Sorry, Bella. I actually wanted to just hop on there. I was thinking that they should be over here. Well, it seems I've got that wrong. Surface the boat. Surface the boat. Wow, wow, that! Uh, I'm amazed at the speed that they're going. They must be absolutely blatting it. So we've got ahead of us. That hmm, we may not be able to catch them even at flank speed in this rough weather. Um, we'll see how we go. We we'll see how we go. But anyway, I'll start, try and close on them. Um, yeah, not. <laughs> that didn't go well, did I'm, That really surprised me. That has surprised me. Right, anyway, we're going to continue our pursuit of them. See if we can close in on them. How's our fuel situation? It's fine. Absolutely fine. So, yeah, we will surface the boat as we're doing now. Let's get some speed going. And we will go flank speed to try and catch them up. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. It's horrible here. But we've spotted them. We've managed to get ahead of them. They're over here somewhere. Uh, at 90. Can you see them? I can... I think I can see like a slight disturbance of the smoke. Maybe there. Ah, yes, you can see... Oh, yes, I can see it. I can see the ship there. It's in the fog. Ah, yes, okay. We, we found them. We found them. Right, now all we need to do is get ahead of them. Look at this bloody weather. Um... Don't want water coming down here. Um, we need to get ahead of them. I'm plotting them. There's two of them. That's the two. Right. You see, I've been plotting them for the last few minutes. Um, we'll get the speed calculation in seconds. Um, but yeah, try and get ahead of them, and uh, and then we'll set up an ambush. Crikey, we may only be able to get one because of obviously the um, torpedo situation. But we're not going to be able to use the deck gun in this in this weather. That's looking pretty good. Right, so if we can get an ambush up here somewhere, uh, we should be looking good. Right, the good news is, because the weather's so bad and uh, the waves are all over the place and it's so dark, um, we don't have to worry about um, them spotting us because their visual range is tiny. Uh, so let's close in. Extreme speed ahead. Um, and ideally, I'd like to. Uh, I might have to extend this a little bit. So I want to cut across and use the rear torpedo. So uh, I'll try and move into a better position. I'll see you in a little while. Right, everyone. Uh, we got ahead of them. Um, we'll just spin this round. We have got our rear pointing towards them. Uh, we may need to get a little bit more range. Let's have a look. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, that's ahead. That's behind. So over here somewhere. There, there she is. There she is. Right. Target marked. Um, we need to calculate their speed first of all. So let's let's do that via here. We can see her here. Um, oh. Slow speed ahead. We need to get a little bit more movement, please, guys. Um, right. Ready? Go, go. Now I think these guys are absolutely flying. They definitely seem to be flying. Now we've also got the acoustic torpedo, so um, yeah, we need to get some movement. We need to get going. Otherwise, we're going to be right on top of them, and it's not going to arm in time. Half speed ahead. We're going to actually blat it, then cut the engines. That should be hopefully. Oh, look at them go! Yeah, they are flying.
Absolutely flying. Right. Let's try not to get too distracted because they're going to be soon upon us. Cool. Bloody hell. Obviously, the, the front ship looks the larger of the two ships, judging by the uh, diagram on the map. So that's the one we're going to try and target. There we go. Right, distance is 250. Well, it's not as fast as I thought it was going to be. 250 is 8 knots. Still pretty quick. Okay, we're all set, I think. Right, tube 4, 5, flood. Keep her on the surface. She's an acoustic, of course, so we're all silent. Ready to go. Let's bring up the map. And see if we are good. So we keep drifting out, so let's just keep an eye on on our range because we are we we've drifted a lot more than I thought we would. We are eight fifty. Eight fifty, that's fine. So these torpedoes, uh, they start listening after four hundred meters. So about halfway, about here, it'll start listening. So we're we're quiet in the water, so we should be okay. Yeah, she's got front and rear deck guns. She's a tough old ship, this one. Uh, range speed, I'm happy with angle of bow. Yep, 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 yep. We've got all that calculated. We could do, I suppose. Uh, I can't get my um. My mouse, there we go, my mouse was locked, I couldn't get it out. Um, so if we, uh, we're almost ready to fire, stand by. I was going to do some other double checking, but I think we're good to go. Stand by to fire. We don't mind if the ship goes slightly past us, because the acoustic will want to be picking up the noise from the engine, so... Loss! <laughs> There she goes. Right, let's get that one loaded in. We're not going to have time to get it loaded in in time for the next ship, but um, let's keep an eye on this torpedo then. Let's see. Does she switch? And um, so when, from about here, uh, the torpedo should start listening for any acoustic noise. And obviously the, the ship will be making a lot of noise from its engines. Also, mid, mid part under the funnel, you'll have the boiler room where there'll be Uh, should start listening now. It's going to go... Well, it should hit it, even if it stays straight. But I'd have thought it would have started listening now. It's not listening, is it? It's like a badly trained puppy. And in fact, is it turning the wrong way? Is it? Is it listening to the front of the ship? That's a bit odd. Um, but fingers crossed we'll get a good... It's on target anyway, so... Um... So good hits. Searchlights have come on. She's gone. She's gone. He's Woo! Up. Look at that. Look at that. She's ablaze. And it's going to take an age to get this torpedo loaded. So uh, that's why I didn't bother calculating for the second ship. Uh, we'll allow her to rescue her buddies. She'll be now doing some emergency moving. Will she? Well, she's turning towards us. What are you doing? Do you spot us? Are you coming to ram us? But there we go. Another ship for the bundle. Ship number 14. That is a large merchant for 7,808 tons. Taking our total then to 76,805 tons. All merchant. Lovely. 14 ships sunk. He's coming directly for us. Let's get going. Let's get moving, just so if this ship does come towards us, it's not going to actually ram us. Yeah, okay. We might dive down as well. Just in case we don't want to get rammed by a passing merchant ship. 
Wonderful. Uh, hi everyone, uh, this ship determined has not gone away, um, so I've turned around and she's turned around and what's the distance between us? 400 meters. Uh, you know what, we could get a shot away here. 60, angle of bow is 60. Oh my god, why, why does that stop working? Range is 400. It's going to be 350 by the time we get there. We know she's doing eight knots. Tube four. Closing tube five. Flooding tube four. Let's get this recalculated quickly while that's flooding. She's turning into us. 350. Angle about. Turning all the time to uh, 4064. Fire. Uh, fire. Tube four. We we may we may just oh I may have fired that a little bit. We may just get a, another quick kill. Oh we're just gonna miss. We're just gonna miss, aren't we? Nope. Okay, she didn't go quite there. She's gone. <laughs> okay. Well, this was an unexpected Brucey bonus. Um, yeah, she's gone. I've already bailed out. Brilliant. Okay, she wouldn't bugger off. So I thought, right, let's finish her off. Uh, tube five has been reloaded. Champion. Let's have a quick look at what she was. Our 15th kill. Uh, a freighter. 2,000 tons. Oh, sorry. Uh, 1971 tons. as a 2,000 ton freighter. Um, good. 15 kills. Uh, 78,776 tonnage sunk. Woo! That's pretty good. There she goes, slipping beneath the waves. Right, we are going to leave it there. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Silent Hunter 5. Um, with U77. We've certainly um, had a, quite a productive day, I would say. Yes, lots of kills today. Happy with that. Lots of tonnage. And uh, the boys are okay. We need to go back for a resupply. And uh, then we'll come back out to the fight. Uh, we'll see if we can get some... I haven't decided yet if we're going to ask for a, a resupply or we'll go back to port. Not quite decided. Um, but for now, I'll leave you with this ship sinking beneath the waves to the glory of U77. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button and also the subscribe button and tickle the bell. It really does help the uh, YouTube algorithm. There she goes. Thanks ever so much, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.